Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I got an in-depth tutorial on Vantage. I know the title says Best Solo Legend, and I do personally think she is one, if not the best solo legend for Apex Legends, pubs, and or ranked. Uh, and you guys can take it as a guide, or or uh, number one solo queue legend. Either way, uh, there's still an in-depth tutorial, and I got a few subjects to cover. Uh, but without further ado, let me get right into it. Alright, to get started, we got the bat. There's three basic things that people don't realize with the bat. And I'm going to go over them very quickly, even though some of you guys that know me have probably seen this before. And that's you don't have to look wherever you want to throw the bat. If you look at the ground or a wall, the bat will always elevate based off of where you put it. So if I look at the ground, no matter if it's 5 meters or the hole over there, it will always go up in the sky at least, like how many meters is this? 5 meters above your head, uh, in case anyone wanted specifics. And then that same, like I said, it goes for the wall as well. Let's go, Echo. See how it went up there. Another thing that a lot of people ask me about is how how you swerve out of the tactical while using it. And what that basically means, which I'll show you real quick, is when you're using a tactical, you hold the crouch button to swerve to the left, right, whichever way you're looking. But you got to pull obviously both analog sticks to go that way, or if you're on mouse and keyboard, your your keys to go that way cover and the last thing real quick before i get into the clips uh about the bat movement is that a lot of people don't don't utilize it for high ground and what i mean by that and confusing the enemy those are two things two very crucial things that i use on a daily basis with vantage and you have to because their hitbox is definitely definitely bigger than most is even something as simple as this you know like you're trying to get high ground you're getting chased by someone you're running through a door you look at the ground Use the tactical and bam, now you're up top, you got high ground, you got away, you, they probably don't really know where you've gotten. If they want to get up, they either got to use their tactical or climb up, and it just gives you space, it gives you a little bit little bit of space between the enemy, and it gives you a, definitely an advantage having that high ground. You can head peek off the ledge, whatever you want to do. Gritty, I gritty right now. Recharging shield. Did they have? What are these dudes doing? What? Oh, that's no fun, bruh. Oh, it's one dude, bruh. That was a good game. That was good, that was good, that was very nice. I 
Okay, what if we made it right now and then we hit the blue one? How are you feeling about that? Now? I, I feel, feel very scared. Now. All right, now the next thing of advantage that I got is her sniper. Her sniper is very good for creating distance and for, uh, what's it called? Creating distance and engaging in fights. It's very helpful helpful if you tag someone. And what I'll show you right now, I'll show you with just a, a basic 9-9, nine nine, I guess. Or... All right, now to explain this to you guys, uh, basically what I mean by the sniper. The sniper, if you tag someone with it, I'm sure you guys know, you do increased damage for a short period of time. I'm not totally sure how long. But it's definitely a, a nice little, little, uh, probably like five seconds, I just assume. And to show you guys the difference, if you shoot someone with a 9-9 bullet once, it's 12 per bullet. Uh, and then if you tag them and then shoot them with a bullet, it goes from 12 damage per bullet to 13 damage per, for, per bullet. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a whole one damage extra per bullet. Which in the long run of things can add up to a lot. And it's a lot different with certain guns like the Wingman too. The Wingman goes from uh, 45 to 50, and that's a huge difference. Uh, and just and I'll actually show you guys that real quick one sec. All right, so here we are with the wingman. I'm gonna tag the enemy again. Everyone knows that it does 45 damage per bullet. Now it does 51 of a bullet, which that adds up quick. I mean that's a four tap unless they got red armor. And uh, and yeah, and I got a few clips to demonstrate you guys that, so I'll let you guys watch them, and I'll be right back. I don't know. Yeah, no, I. That's fine. Yes. Dead, bro. Shield. 20 bomb? Yeah, right. Are you serious, Jamal? Yeah, I guess I can do it for you. Now I got a clip to demonstrate you guys, uh, and I ain't really going to be showing much of the fire range anymore. I was just basically going over the mechanics and showing you guys a little bit little bits and pieces that may help you out may not uh but the next topic i got is uh third parties third parties are a pain in the ass in apex everybody knows this uh but you can use the bat pretty efficiently to get away or at least reset the fight uh resetting the fight is a huge advantage there's many ways to do it it's definitely rough if you're fighting anyone with a tactical and in the clip i got to show you guys there is a i think it's a it's a lifeline and a, a loba after I me and the loba uses her abilities i use my abilities but I still create enough distance to end up coming out on top, and I'll roll that clip right now. Only half the squads left to hunt. Dang it.
Jesus Christ, man. Charging shield. Oh. Should have grabbed the midi. Lurk, appreciate the lurk revenge. Hope game's going well, man. Idiots, bro. What y'all think I'm gonna do, huh? Alright, for the last topic for this video, just to keep it short, or somewhat short, is the ability to farm damage in high kill games advantage. Obviously, high kill games, you're just going to have to practice. There's not any cheat code to it. It's literally just killing 20 people in a game. It is a little bit difficult, but as long as you keep practicing the basic things uh, that you need to do, practice your aim, your positioning, your knowledge, just, get, just become more knowledgeable. All it takes that one lucky game to get the 20 bomb, but when it comes to a 4K, it is very easy to farm that in many games. I believe in this clip that I got for you guys, I farmed, uh, I farmed a little over a thousand damage off of the last team, and uh, and it, it was a little difficult. And you got to be careful because they're hitbox too. But it was fairly easy, fairly straightforward. And uh, and I'm gonna actually end the video here. This is all that I'm gonna be talking. I'll let you guys watch that clip out. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate it. If you guys do want to support me, I do stream on Twitch. All these clips have came straight from my Twitch stream yesterday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, this dude's great with the Spitfire, man, let me tell ya. Damn, I wish I didn't miss, miss those. Oh. We've been full boss all day, even the PC Dallas servers? Really? That's interesting. I might try to farm these dudes just to have a, a decent fucking damage game, but I don't know. I really just want to get it over with, to be honest. Just... My dog's balls got like a really weird bump on him. He got ball cancer or something. Oh, that's the 4K. 
45 kills in three games? Damn, hell yeah, bro. Let's see how much I can farm this dude. Anyone that says PC lobbies are higher than... Like, okay, PC ranked is higher than, like, console ranked, and then console funds is higher than PC funds. Okay, right away, sorry, just like, statistically, I know I'm right. Cause I've played PC funds, and so, like, I played with Cash a bit ago, like, back in the thing with Ash dropped. Or Cash moved over. Oh no, it wasn't Cash, it was JQ. I still, I still have Madden guys, so I'm I played with JQ a few games, right? And then he ended up playing on PC for the first time. Um, he was on Switch, he's finished the link, so I don't think he's going to the Switch PC, right? And then, it, dude, they were just so free, it was like actually ridiculous. And we went to console with like the same .6 heavy beams. Oh look, it was. I might be able to farm a 5k off of this one solo little bro. Okay, 5k. I'm gonna need him to start using some of these damn batteries though. I'm gonna let him pop that make it. Recharging shield. Five point one. I need to keep in mind I don't have a ton of light ammo. Damn, bro, I didn't- I thought he healed. Oh well. Still a decent game. You are the I don't even know, I think I got like 4.8, I don't know. That's- that is unfortunate.